Good morning, Panthers. It's Tuesday. So, Nella, books. I am impressed with the amount of books that you are reading. Um, I used to read lots and lots and lots of books. Like, it was absolutely normal for me to read, like, three or four books a week, at least. Um, and now I don't read nearly that many because there's, you know, other stuff to do, which sucks because I really like reading and I miss it. Out of the books that you mentioned, other than the Brontes, um, I've only read uh, On the Road by Jack Kerouac, which I read once when I was 19 and haven't read since, and um, the Cat Who book um, by Lillian Jackson Brock. She read a whole bunch of Cat Who books um, over a period of many years, and uh, my mom has all or at least most of them. Lillian Jackson Braun was um, not in very good health for a long time before she died. So some of the later books in the series are, are not as well written. You can like you can tell that she was having a rough time. But overall they are charming and fun. Have you read any of the rest of them or just that one? Right now the book that I am rereading is The Perilous Guard by Elizabeth Marie Pope. Um, I've read it before. Elizabeth Green Pope was um, a professor, I, I want to say a professor of history, but I, I, I can't remember for sure. And um, she only wrote two books. She wrote The Perilous Guard, and then years later she wrote a book called The Sherwood Ring, which was the one that I read first. I read it when I was in high school. And um, it's very charming. I only read The Perilous Guard for the first time a couple years ago. And uh, it's kind of a great book. Like, I really enjoy um, both of the books a lot. The The Sherwood Ring is, is um, it's lighter and, and funnier and has more kind of sparkle. It takes place during the Revolutionary War, so it's not completely all, you know, funny. Or I guess, I guess the body of it takes place. It's hard to explain. It involves a ghost and there's a, a ghost telling a story, and the story that the ghost tells takes place during the Revolutionary War, but that is the bulk of the book, so there are kind of two stories going on at the same time. This book, The Perilous Guard, takes place during the reign of Queen Mary, you know, Mary Tudor, Bloody Mary of English history. Queen Mary is not really that big a part of the book or anything. She's mentioned, but that's that's about it. But the book has a great deal to do with uh, the legend of Tamlin, which is very interesting. I think you, that you can tell, having read both of the books, um, that she wrote this book first. Not that the quality of the writing is bad, but I just think it's, it's not as sure as The Sherwood Ring, which was written late, much later. Um, but it's it's a, a very enjoyable book. I had not read it in a while, and so it's kind of fun to revisit it. And you asked about uh, what we were, what we wanted to be when we grew up, when we were little kids. Uh, I remember that when I was about five, I I desperately wanted to be a trapeze artist, and I don't really know why. I'd never actually seen anyone do a trapeze act except like on TV. So I don't know why I was so obsessed with this idea, especially because I'm not a very like athletic person, but for some reason I was really like, I thought this was the greatest idea ever. Also when I was five, my new friend at school told me that she wanted to be an author and it was the first time it had occurred to me that it was possible to do that, like that you could just be an author. I guess because most of the people that I read at that point were, you know, uh, people who were already dead. I. I I don't know, it just never occurred to me that you could just write a book. So then I was very taken with the idea of becoming a writer, although I, I wouldn't say that I've ever been really that great at it. But that's what I used to tell people I wanted to be anyway, you know, when people would ask. So yeah, I'm really enjoying you talking about books and um, I, I look forward to your other book videos. So I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to press it.